Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, Ileana here, and if you're already part of this wonderful family, thank you so much for continuing to watch and to support. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out Fenty Beauty for the very first time. Everybody raves about it all the time. I always hear great stuff about the brand, and obviously Riri, she's queen. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the products to the test. If you wanna know how it works out, then make sure that you keep on watching. But before we get into the video, as always, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you are notified every single time that I upload. Make sure that we give this video a big thumbs up and let's jump into another review. Okay, so I went ahead and I did pick up the foundation. This is the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. So this is the hydrating one. I know she has a hydrating and then she has a matte one. Obviously you guys know I do have dry skin, so we went ahead with the hydrating one. And then I also did pick up the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. So this is what this one looks like. And it's really, really big. I've never actually really seen the products like in person. The only thing I know that they look like is from what I've seen on YouTube or like pictures on Instagram things like that but I've never seen the packaging or anything in person so this is gonna be a fun video but I'm so excited to finally dive into them and try these bad boys out so let's start by priming the face I went ahead and I used my jelly pop dew primer so I can make the foundation last all day and then I'm gonna go in with my Haley's Beauty this is the refine primer this is what the packaging looks like on here again pardon my nails guys a little bit of this primer on the t-zone this one does a great job of filling in the pores so i want to not only make my makeup last but i want to make sure that i am filling the pores okay so i went ahead and i pulled the hair back so we can actually get really into the foundation and i'm gonna i'm so excited to use this foundation guys okay so this is the fenty beauty by rihanna pro filter hydrating longwear foundation so according to the claims on the box it does say that it is a hydrating medium to full coverage um this is for all skin tones long wear and light as air so i'm super excited this is what the actual packaging looks like of the box and then we're gonna open it up. I did pick up the shade 150. Um, again, I did have to shade match online on Sephora's website because obviously stores are not open right now. Oh, this is so cute. So this is what the actual packaging of the Fenty Beauty bottle looks like. It's nice and sleek. Um, I'm not sure if it has like a... Okay, so it is a pump. I love that. I was scared that it was gonna be like a squeeze tube, but it is a pump. So this is nice, cute, cute packaging. Feels very sleek. And this is really cute. I love that you can see the um, actual foundation color through it. So that's really cute. I like this. You guys already know I like applying my foundations with beauty. So you guys already know I do like applying my foundations with beauty sponges. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be using my Wet n Wild beauty sponge. Okay, so I'm gonna start with about that much on the face and then blend it out and then we'll kind of see how it goes. I think this might be a little too light for my skin tone, but we'll see. Okay, so this is the side with a layer on. I know that you can kind of see like the line down the middle from the foundation. So, so far, I think that one layer is pretty light to medium coverage. There's not a whole lot of coverage. Again, it could be because I am using a beauty sponge and not a brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second layer with the beauty sponge, and then we're gonna apply the other side with a brush just to kind of see the difference. So layering it up with a second layer obviously did make a huge difference. You can see that it really evened out my skin tone. So this is obviously the side with the foundation on. So this is foundation and then no foundation. You can see my redness, my um, scarring, and then this kind of just like evened it out on this side. So I do like the finish of it. It does feel very, very light and it does feel very hydrating. It's not matte. I can definitely like move my skin, my mouth around and not feel like it's super drying on my skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the other side with a brush and kind of see how that compares to it and then we'll kind of compare the coverage on them okay so I am going to be using my Sigma flat kabuki this is the Sigma one or f80 and I'm gonna just kind of stipple that into the skin okay so obviously already I can see this has a ton more coverage when you do a brush which usually tends to happen anyways Yeah, you can definitely see a lot more coverage. I 
immediately I definitely see a huge difference in the mirror this is the side with the beauty sponge and this is the side with a brush so the brush side definitely does provide a lot more coverage than this side the only thing is that I do like the finish of a sponge more so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my beauty my beauty sponge and kind of just really push it into the skin so I definitely have to say that it did provide a lot of coverage with the brush compared to this side. But what I did like was applying it with the brush and then going in and pushing it, pushing the product into my skin with the beauty sponge at the end, if that makes sense. The thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit more with the um, brush and then kind of do the same thing to the other side and I really do like the fact that it does provide coverage at least with the brush the beauty blender or the beauty sponge does make it a little bit more natural looking so this is what the foundation looks like already with applied with the brush and then kind of push the product in with a beauty sponge this is what it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer and then we're gonna come back and do the setting powder so I'll be right back so this is the pro filter instant retouch setting powder and I did grab the shade butter so this is what the packaging looks like of the box super cute I really like Fenty's packaging this is so cool this thing is huge like what this thing is like heavy sturdy huge so definitely nice packaging and then it does have the initials FB on here I don't know if you guys can see that but it's inside like the setting powder so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some on the cap I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer. It doesn't really have like a scent. And we're gonna just place it underneath. Now I don't really like to bake because I do have really dry skin right now. So what I'm doing is just kind of taking a little bit of the product and just pushing it into the skin to just kind of set that area. And then the rest of the face I'm gonna grab a brush but this is just so I make sure that my concealer doesn't move if you're into perfumes you're not gonna like that it doesn't have a scent if you don't like perfumed or fragrance things then you're gonna love that it doesn't really have a scent so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this powder brush this is a huge fluffy brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face and see how this holds up I don't want to do too much powder just because I still want my skin to look hydrated at the end of the day. So far, I do like it. It does dry up my skin a little bit, so it kind of defeats the purpose of the hydrating powder, or I mean the hydrating foundation, but um, we're gonna see how it kind of holds up throughout the day, and then I will leave in the description box below how it does hold up, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup, and then we'll be right back to kind of talk about how I thought everything applied. Okay, so I am back. This is the final look for today, and this is what the foundation and the setting powder look like. So, to be honest, at first when I started blending everything out, I did think that it was a little cakey. Um, I don't know how I feel about the setting powder yet, so this is something that I have to keep on trying. I'm not sure how I like it. I think it's a little too drying for my skin. I don't know if it's because I decided to use a hydrating foundation and then went in with a, the setting powder that kind of did that. So this is something that I'm definitely gonna have to keep on trying my under eyes look a little dry compared to how they usually look so that's something that I am noticing about the setting powder really really close in the mirror I do see a little bit of just dryness underneath my eyes I don't know if it was the concealer I was using with the foundation again there's a lot of things that it could be it might not just be this but everywhere else I think that the setting powder actually looks really nice once I kind of like push it into the skin put a little bit of setting spray kind of bring a little bit more moisture back into the skin but something that I do have to keep playing with or before I applied the setting powder though I really did like how the foundation looked it was super hydrating it was nice it had a good coverage I was really liking it I do think that it is a little bit off on the tone for me it is a little bit too cool for my skin tone I do need something a little bit more neutral a little bit warmer than this so I'm definitely probably gonna have to switch out the shade once stores open back up and everything but I think that the final look does look really really pretty I'm gonna have to wear it throughout the day and then I will also leave in the description box below an update on whether or not by the end of the day it did look a little bit better I did see some reviews on YouTube um, of people trying 
applying this foundation and said that it does look a little bit more like your skin and more hydrating the longer that you wear it so right now it is currently 103 p.m i'm gonna wear it throughout the day it is so nice outside um we are still in quarantine obviously but it is like 72 degrees outside so i do plan on taking the girls outside for a little bit today and then just kind of enjoying some air some fresh air getting out of these same four walls that we have been in for the last couple of weeks I'm gonna go ahead and definitely leave a update down in the description box of what I think of the foundation at the end of the day. But as of right now, I loved the foundation. The setting powder is what has me kind of on the fence. I'm going to have to keep trying this out. So keep updated in future videos as well. I will keep you guys updated. So that is pretty much it. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know I was kind of all over the place with this foundation and this review because I loved it. I kind of was on the fence about it. I loved it again and then I was kind of on the fence so I was all over the place but like I said I'll leave you guys an update in the description box so before I keep on rambling on for absolutely no reason I'm gonna go ahead and sign off now and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in my next one. Ciao!